So we're finding the surface area of a regular pentagonal prism. So we're going to apply the formula for all surface area, which is 2 times the base area plus the perimeter of the base times the height of your prism. So in this case, we happen to have a base that is a pentagon with a side length of 1.5 inches. Okay, come over here. There's a formula for that. If I know the side of a triangle, or rather a regular anything, I'm going to apply this formula to figure out the area of the base, where theta is the trig angle, which is 360 over 2 times the number of sides. This is the formula that I always want to use for a regular polygon, as long as I know the side length. So n is how many sides this has. It's a pentagon, so that's five sides. Every side was 1.5 inches long. The angle, if I take 360 and divide it by 10, my trig angle is 36 degrees. So when I plug all of this into my calculator, I can find the area of the base, which is... 3.871 square inches for the area of your base. Now, for these problems, that's normally the hardest thing to do is to calculate the area of your base. So 3.871. <clears throat> so coming back over here, 2 times 3.871 plus the perimeter which is the distance around your base, so 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 <clears throat> is 7.5 times the height of your prism, which is this, the distance in between your bases, 3.5. <clears throat> so you plug all this into your calculator and you get... 33.99 square inches, which is close enough that we could probably call this 34 square inches of paper, is what it would take to make this pentagonal prism with a side of 1.5 inches and a height of 3.5.